Hello, I'm Dr. Brant Gibson, and today I want to talk to you about another vitamin, a vitamin that's not commonly recognized as affecting the nerves. There are newer studies that are starting to show a direct effect of vitamin D on the nerves and neuromuscular functioning. Um, so I will, we'll come back to that here in just a second. But vitamin D really comes in two forms. It comes in D2 and D3. Most individuals when they go buy a supplement, we'll get a combination where it's got a D2 and D3 in it. Um, you can buy just D2s. You can buy just D3s. I recommend, because D3 is the most effective and the best utilized by the body, that you focus on the D3. So if you're going to get a supplement, I recommend you get just D3 because you'll get a lot more benefit in the body. Vitamin D is well known for its essential function in promoting bone mineralization in promoting calcium absorption and phosphorus absorption from food in the intestine and also the reabsorption of calcium in the kidneys. So it's ideal or imperative that you have a good amount of vitamin D to maintain bone calcium by absorbing it first in the intestine and reabsorbing it from the kidneys so you don't lose it through your urine. So. It also has been shown to have some neuromuscular and immune function stimulation. But even the more recent studies, like I was saying, is that it, we're finding that in peripheral neuropathy, it can actually have some pretty significant beneficial effects on reducing the symptoms that come from a deficiency in vitamin D. Some individuals with peripheral neuropathy, that's really the only deficiency they have is vitamin D. And we're finding that it's close to 70% of individuals that we are testing that are deficient in vitamin D and by adding back a supplementation of vitamin D3, they will improve some of their symptoms and start to get some beneficial improvement of the effect, of the effectiveness of their nerves. So they'll get some beneficial improvement of the way the nerves are functioning, which reduces the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy and helps them function more like you're supposed to. Dosage wise, the for years, the dosage have been in international units and we usually recommend that it you go a pretty high dose, between 2,000 and 5,000 international units a day. They are now currently moving it to micrograms instead. So if you are gonna, if you get a supplement that's in micrograms, you'll go to 50 to 125 micrograms, which is the same dosage as the 2,000 to 5,000 international units a day. As opposed to vitamin B1 and B12, which are water-soluble, vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, which increases your risk of overdose because it stays in the system longer. So we recommend that you do it once a day single daily dose and that you put it in that range to to get you not just in the normal range but at the higher end of normal is where we'd like to keep you food sources of vitamin d include cod liver oil fatty fish species especially herring catfish salmon cooked mackerel sardines tuna and eel you'll find it in egg yolks you'll find it in beef liver but the most effective way of getting it outside of a supplementation is self-synthesis through direct sunlight. So a lot of individuals say, well, there's no way I could be deficient in vitamin D because I'm getting it from the sun by getting exposed to the sun on a regular basis. The problem is most of us are protective of our skin, which is the way that it is self-synthesized. So by using sunscreens or using hats or, or other coverings to protect us from getting sunburned or ultimately from getting cancers. So, a lot of individuals are now finding that they actually are deficient in vitamin D and they need to supplement it to actually really get to where they should be. So vitamin D is very valuable at managing the symptoms. It is one of the most common ones that we test. It is one of the most common ones that we find to be deficient. And it has been shown to improve the functioning of the nerves in peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Brant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 40, Vitamin D. Focus on.